hello and welcome to all of you all over the world. It is, of course, a fixture that needs no introduction. It is, without doubt, the ultimate game the continent has to give us, the final of Euro 2020. This competition has been one of change, one of many firsts, a new qualifying format, venues across the continent, no single host country, and I'm sure the debates about the success or otherwise of it will start as soon as the whistle has gone. Perhaps those debates already have, but one thing has never changed, and that is the fact that football keeps bringing us back for the very same reasons. These championships have again served the game well as a showcase for the best that it has to offer, perhaps helped in no small part by those changes which we have been witnessing. So let us hope it gets a fitting final. This, of course, a venue that needs no introduction. The iconic arch, a symbol of Wembley Stadium, the home of football. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. So here is how they line up, and nothing can top this moment for either set of players. It is without doubt, Peter, the greatest show we have this summer, and the fact that this is like a celebratory edition too makes it that little bit more special, doesn't it? I've certainly enjoyed it, giving us a, a fair share of just about everything we've come to expect from a competition of this magnitude, and yes, let's hope that it gets the perfect send-off. So what are we to expect in this final? Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. Chiellini. Chiellini with the cross-field ball. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Phillips goes up and over. And that has been cleared. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Jorginho with the foul. Kyle Walker. And here's Kane. Now it's Immobile. Now it's Verratti. Verratti. And the shot! Goal, Italy! That could turn out to be a big, big goal. A oh, high-quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Italy take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone's confidence here. 
loses his balance and loses the ball. Sterling gets it out to the wing. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Immobile. Benucci. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Chiesa. Maguire. Rice. Mant. Saka. Chance to put Immobile! Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Forward it goes. That's a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Stones. Sterling Sterling spreads it towards the left Chiesa battles to win it back well, the defence got the better of him this time but I'm sure he'll go again Stones gets into the right position to intercept Mant Emerson. He's pinged one through here. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. And his shot goes for goal! And he's there to make a great save. Sterling sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Mance with the short one. Shaw not easily shrugged off the ball. Gets wrestled off the ball. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Just needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Finds himself eased off the ball. And it's Immobile. Stones. Saka and here's the chance to counter it's Immobile and that wasn't far away and that's exactly the type of adventure we want to see in a final two Peter and it's a pity it didn't cause the net to bulge There's the whistle, the first half of the final has flown by. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. <laughs> and we're on the way. Italy really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to... He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away.
Stones. Rice, foot in. Phillips. Sterling. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Crack. Goes down, but nothing given. Jorginho tries to get it forward quickly. Immobile! Oh, he's managed to get it all wrong. Yeah, the ball in there was simply superb. He won't be too happy that it's gone to waste like that. This could spell danger. It's in Mobile! Away from immediate danger. Promising cross. Keeper has beaten it away. On the side that time. Keeper sends it forward. Plays it out wide. A buccaneering run from the defender. Worth a try. Shame about the outcome. Oh, that's fantastic improvisation he showed there. Adjusted himself very quickly, but it's rare that they come off. England are definitely going about this the right way. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Kane! That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, as test goal, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Lorenzo Insigne. There's the delivery. Maguire knocks it away. Shaw switches it towards the other side. Now it's Kane. It's come loose. Kane. Emerson gets it back. Benucci plays it forward. And he's pulled him up for that challenge. And he has shown him a yellow card. <laughs> Deep Lorenzo. Phillips, and it's played forward. Now it's Kane. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Oh, 
No, that's not the ball he wanted. Oh, this looks promising. Got to make this count. Chiellini with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. He had plenty to do. Absolutely terrific, terrific reflexes. Goalkeeping at its very best. Berati, Berati with a definite foul there. been taken straight back Is that a foul yes the uh, referee's given it and it's Sancho Well, this lead is tight, but it does look as though it may see them through. Just a few moments from glory. Goes for it! Oh, that's a waste. Italy really have been deserted by their composure and allowed frustration to take over, and it's not a good sign. Rice. Mant plays a clever pass. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. It's Immobile into the box. Italy probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. Italy need to hold on for a few more moments. England don't have many options, and time is running out. Good idea, just poorly executed. There's only one word for this, it, it's baffling. That team needs to figure out where the ball needs to be, and it's not there. And here's Kane. Now the counter. Chiesa goes looking, chance to squeeze it through. No, not quite. And there goes the final whistle. Italy celebrate. They are the continent's ultimate team, winners of the European Championship. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.